today we'll be dealing with a very important concept which has been very recently in news the concept name it's a very beautiful concept it's artificial rain so rain which has been created so that is not something very new it has been done previously but it's a very beautiful concept now before we go ahead with the concept i would like to tell you a small thing which is important so it's fundamentally like this on the ground for example this is the ground and i put a seed what happens it grows into trees or plants this is if this is the ground in a similar fashion let's assume this is a sky which has some clouds and in this if i put seeds they should start falling like this now just imagine if these seeds are something which is not like the grass or the trees but let's say if they are able to give me water droplets which will form into the concept of rain so just like how agriculture is done where you put the seeds in the ground and make the trees grow up here you put the seeds on the top and you pull them down so here what am i doing i am trying to put something called seeds not these seeds the cloud seeds which create water droplets heavy water droplets and they will fall nicely in the form of rain so since i am planting seeds and creating rain i call this concept artificial rain because i am creating that rain it's not present naturally so the concept is very simple i plant some seeds in the clouds those clouds something happens within them and then they form heavy droplets of water and then they fall as rain so the advantage is wherever i want rain i'll have the possibility to create rain for whatever purposes so that's the fundamental concept of artificial rain i hope this concept is understood by everyone now let's move on why am i talking about this it's because it has been recently in news and that with respect to the delhi government the delhi government you know that in winter it's very cold the only problem is with too many pollutants and all that rain has not been beautifully coming in delhi it's cold since it is too cold what happens is in the sky cloud formation happens perspiration happens but rain does not fall when rain does not fall the pollutants all stuck there and there's a lot of pollution which stays there which does not allow the rain to properly fall because of too much pollution in delhi so therefore the delhi government is considering the implementation of the artificial rain technique as a measure to address escalating air pollution levels this is very important so more pollution less rain less rain lot of problems we all know that so <clears throat> what is this cloud seeding is what we'll know so the what part it's an artificial method to boost rainfall by introducing specific substances into clouds now these specific substances specific they are silver iodide so you'll have a prelims questions from this and potassium iodide and majorly you have dry ice dry ice is nothing but you all know it is solidified carbon dioxide so what happens is for this technique you will require a little bit of aircrafting because you need to go on to the clouds and then you have to start dispersing things once you disperse it the clouds get attached so what happens within this mechanism is 
best part cloud flight goes starts dispersing these artificial these chemicals silver added and potassium added and dry ice all of them get accumulated in the cloud now why only these particles is very very important what you have to understand here is see these particles are are called hygroscopic hygroscopic means some particles which love moisture just like how we love scent perfume the minute perfume comes we get accustomed to it we get attracted to it we start smelling more in a similar fashion hygroscopic particles are those particles where they love moisture the minute the moisture comes they automatically go there stick around them and the moisture also gets attracted to those particles and they stay together so what happens is when a seed is there the moisture around it all of them will nuclear by nuclear they'll keep adding like this so, so what happens inside is the weight of the particle it is a nucleus all the water nuclei water vapor nuclei this uh, this condensation nuclei cloud condensation nuclei dry ice nuclei all of them will start forming a bigger bigger nucleus so once more nucleus are formed what happens to the molecule the weight of the molecule will increase a lot this leads to increase in the weight of the molecule once the weight of the molecule increases what happens is gravity automatically starts gravity obviously will be there but why is rate not falling in delhi because the water droplets are not strong enough to be pulled by the gravity because fundamentally if you look at the concept of air please try to understand this very important air fundamentally air particles are lighter dust particles are lighter water vapor particles are lighter than air so what happens is obviously their tendency is to move up but once the cloud seeding happens they become bigger molecules the effect of gravity will increase and automatically these molecules tend not to go up but to come down so what are we finally actually doing we are trying to increase the weight of the water molecules so that they come under the influence of gravity and finally they fall back onto the earth but if you observe this process very carefully look here how does this water vapor form is very important water bodies sun heat or whatever heat evaporation happens they form clouds here now what are we doing clouds we are taking an aircraft putting the seeds increasing their weights and giving back rain so that is the best part so the process is something like this sun rays evaporation then here condensation in during the process of condensation i involve these fellows solid iodide dry ice and all these and these increases the size of the molecules here the water droplets are very light but here the water molecules become very very heavy once they are heavy under the influence of gravity they fall down and create what is called rain so this fundamental process is what is happening in artificial rain i hope all of you have understood this so moving back so what are the different formats that we have cloud condensation nuclei is required chain cloud condensation nuclei so what happens it strengthens the condensation and collision coalescence process this is nothing but mixing and what happens is the precipitation efficiency is going to increase that's the best part now please try to understand in the hygroscopic thing you have two ty kinds one is cloud condensation nuclei and the other is ice nuclei so fundamentally there are two salts which we put in the first salt is useful for creation of cloud condensation nuclei the nucleus are added and the other is second salt is used to create ice ice nuclei so what happens is we all know that ice crystals will be formed 
and ice crystals form faster and they are more heavier than the water droplets formation. Ice is greater than drops. So heavier as well as faster. So now a combination of both of them will give us that beautiful rain. Moving on. So this is the technique one. And technique two is glaciogenic cloud seeding. Here in the glaciers and all these things, same process is used. So revolves on prompting the generation of ice in clouds that exist as super cool states. Clouds fundamentally formation happens because as we go from the atmosphere into the stratosphere, into the troposphere and all these places, the temperature will keep reducing. As the temperature reduces, they move into a super cool state. Everything becomes more like a solid than air. Molecules have to come closer. So because of this, efficient ice, silver added is put into the cloud and because of which enhanced ice particle production will be created and this leads to increased rainfall. This is technique two. So two techniques, I repeat. First technique is hygroscopic cloud seeding. Second technique is glaciogenic cloud seeding. These two techniques are fundamentally used to create that artificial rain. Now that is a what part. Now coming to how, as I said, all the whole process in the storyline is here. First aircraft releases, aircraft releases silver into the atmosphere. That silver is nothing but the seeding agent. Now silver iodide particles introduced into the targeted clouds. Specific cloud types are focus of the seeding process. So please look at the process, Rele release from the aircraft, targeted cloud, you can't do, can't do this wherever you like. First a particular type of cloud. First thing is clouds must be present. All, not all kinds of clouds work for this. So targeted clouds you have to take into consideration, which of course the meteorological department will take care of it. So your work is to make sure that the clouds are there, you go with the aircraft, dull those seeds, and then ice crystal formation happens, weight increases and then precipitation initiation happens. So this is step number one, step number two, step number three, step number four, step number five. Now for all these things you will require your, <coughs> for both of them you need process one and process two, hygroscopic or the glycogenic, both these will require all of them. So this is the how part. Next, why do we require all these things? Of course, for rain. Second, once rain comes into picture, drought will reduce. So that is a very good sign. And suddenly if you have fire, let's say. So what will happen? Forest fire prevention hojata. So that's a very beautiful thing. Next, so you're augmenting precipitation levels. So what happens is you're adding precipitation levels. When more precipitation happens, more rainfall happens. So where more rainfall is there, it is all good for the country. So therefore it's very good. And finally, what happens is automatically when the air quality increases, the air quality will also increase. So that is a beauty. And finally, this leads to environment upgradation. And betterment. So better ecology, better environment, better health, better work productivity. Now, so where did this all take place? Start with USA, China during Olympic, Beijing Olympics, they have introduced artificial rain. In Britain, during one of the, the marriages of the prince, they have introduced artificial rain. In India, this is the best part, Solapur city. And there is an increase of 18% increase in the relative rainfall. And it is also being done in Karnataka. It is also being done in Maharashtra. And this program, if it is successful, it will lead to droughtless India. And that's the best part. And it's already been in process. We are trying out all the different met methods. And uh, we want to start with Delhi first. Let's see how it's working out with Delhi. If it's working out Delhi, I'm sure it should work anywhere in the country. And I think it's a beautiful process to make sure that India becomes a drought-less society. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye.